the version of the code was was changed in that as soon as we create that function in, in December I called it name show random all. The first thing to do was to clear the div, assigning it to empty, generate a temporary version of the array, all names dot slice, starting from the zero with position, and then the variable all names temp len, which is the length of the temporary array, length of the original array. That was the same as before. Our for statement from starting of i, the length of the temporary array, seven names, as long as i is greater than or equal to zero. And then we minus minus. I don't have a semicolon there, I just saw that. I do have a semicolon. Oh, I don't have a semicolon there either. Hmm. Okay. I thought I had a semicolon uh, there. Uh, Major, this thing uh, was before um, regarding to declare the variable, they call a hot uh, document that is an empty program random ball before we declare uh, a variable. On what line? Um, is that the old one or the new one? This is the new one. Let me go back to the old one up here. This is the old one. So then, let's see. So then in the for statement, I'm doing a random number rounding down random to the length of the um, temporary and then just enter HTML going to the div show random all display some inner HTML plus equals so I forget what that's called concatenation assignment or something ranking plus all names temp, that's the temporary array, we're splicing it, random, name random, in the December code I called it name random, today we called it name random temp or something, random name, num, temp. Random name num temp, only taking out one, only splicing one item from it, and then also breaking a line. So that seems to be the same that we did you know, half an hour ago. I don't know if anyone else sees something different. Yeah. On what line? So... Well, we could, but that should no, be there. Uh, this, this, this one up here? <laughs> yes. This. So we want to take off? Yeah, yeah, I have. Left. No, 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 only on the plus. Uh, take off and put semicolon. Take off the plus and leave the semicolon? No, 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 no. That's not a valid statement. Mine is working. <laughs> that's not. It's my year. That's, not, that's not a valid statement. It's going to give me an error because it's not a valid statement. <laughs> Let me confirm. <laughs> it's, but it's not, it's not actually doing that. 
if I wanted it as part of the original statement, I need the plus. See, see that is it's ignoring it. It's not processing it. See, I'm not seeing a z z z. It's ignoring it. If I if I have the the plus, it's supposed to print out a a z and do a break. So it is showing it. Didn't you it's just removing spaces. Yeah. Uh, we have one space at least to give us each on an individual line. This one is just an extra superfluous space. And without the plus, here we ended a statement, and now in quotes, with no JavaScript, this is nothing. So I would have expected an error, but it's just ignoring it. So this is just ignoring it. This code is my example code from December that worked. If I were to try that on the code that is not working right now, it'll probably not like it. By pressing yeah. yeah, this in this example, I, I broke it into two lines when I zoom in so that people can see it. Together we kept it on one line. I also put a comment here. So this could be on the same line, but I just broke it to another line to be able to write comments there. Yes. Let me let me look at your code one moment. Let me put it back over here. Did you find the problem maybe that I'm not seeing? So uh, I run that to say today when I looked at the example code, that's how we 
So the clean out the ditch, and then we add new instances. Try this. People seem to be troubleshooting that maybe it's that console output. So let me um, let me try it on mine. So it looks like the console output, this last console output. So this console maybe is doing it. Let me put the console back. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's true. If we're splicing it in, the, if we're doing console output, we're still anyway splicing the array. Yeah. Yeah, we're splicing the array. This is not this is not a temporary thing. This is a permanent thing. That's why we have a temporary array. So this is like the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. You're gonna what is that? You affect the atom just by looking at it. So that's the problem. The console itself. I'm thinking about it purely in that we're only looking at the array. But no, we're actually performing an operation on the array. We're splicing it and removing data from the array, then we're looking at it. Then we've got a smaller array to work with to show here. So that console commented out, and now we're working with so all of that GitHub code I commented out again. But now we're actually working with the original data of the temporary array. We're not looking at it and affecting it. We are starting with the original temporary array. It gives me a random collection. I do random again and it adds to it. We'll fix that in a moment. And now it adds another random version of it. So that's what that was. Our console we were affecting the original data. You want to comment out the console so that it doesn't keep stacking and stacking and stacking data. The first thing you want to do in the function is empty the div. So going back as the first line in show random all, document get element by ID, generation now equals, not plus equals, equals. Plus equals over here keeps adding more data into the div on screen. So the first thing we'll do in a, in a millisecond is clean out the div, then do the rest. Display the data. Click the button again, clear the div, whatever's there, and replace <coughs> it with a new random collection of names. So that's, uh, that was some live beta testing there. Everyone looking at the code, seeing what was different, and then reminding me that here we weren't just actually looking at the data, we were affecting the data.
And the first thing we want to do is add the clear out the div. So a a a b b b c c c d d d get all, get all random a b c d randomly that way d c a b a c d b delete all the names to start over put some new names We've got some new names in that order. Get one at random. Get them all at random. Again and again and again and again. In that order. We'll do um, lab time in a moment, but as we, if you got this to work, uh, and as you, as you beta test it a little bit more, well, if I do hide names, that's only set up to hide the first div. Show again, it shows only that div. We never program that hide button to hide any other div. You can probably figure out how to hide the other divs. If we do delete names and we confirm, we're hiding the div that showed all the original data, but no other divs. So there's still that remnant data. The delete names was never programmed to also empty the divs for my other data that I'm showing. And hiding the original divs, yes. So under delete all right here, we did delete all. We said true, empty the array, run the function hide all. So that jumps us back over here. And function hide all at the moment is only hiding the div show. So if we also want to hide the other divs, Call them div show, div show random one, and div show random all. So now the hide all will hide all. The original div, the one with run random, the one with all of them random, oops, random all. The original div. The one with one random name, the one with all random names, they're all set to display none. Remember, though, when we did this the first time for our first div, now the other divs are permanently hidden. We had to style.display equals block to bring the div back. Where was that at? That was right here. We figured out, well, we, we're doing the hide, display display <coughs> equals none. We needed to bring it back at the moment we wanted to see it, display equals block. So wherever I'm trying to show these random names, I also want to do that. I'm going to copy the random one display none. And that needs to be random one display block. Inside of the show random one, here's the part where we're showing one random name. Well, that div has been hidden if we did, if we ever press the hide all. So we need to bring it back to display block. Mm -hmm. 
lastly show random all, which we just finished down here, that also means a display equals block. He needs it right here. This div show random all display block. We saw this on, on Tuesday. We saw uh, show data in div show, and if we ever do the hide names, well, we have to then deal with the opposite block, depending how we run it. So, Andy, Bill. Show all, get one random, get all, hide, everything hides, show it again, get one random again, get all random again, hide all, delete everything, everything's deleted, show all, nothing to show. Get one random, undefined. Get all random, undefined also in the console. So we, we did that little bit of testing under show all if there's no names. You would need to do something very similar for the get one random and get all random. If I'm trying to deal with an array that is empty, instead of blurting out undefined, have it do the pop-up similar to this. <coughs> Maybe that'll be your challenge. I won't show that. See if you can get that to work. Based on everything we've done so far, we have the code that we've worked with so far to figure out how do we make this work if I have no names in the array so that it doesn't display an ugly undefined and so that get all random doesn't look like it's broken figure that out yourself perhaps. We're going to wrap up the main lecture at this point with some lab time in case you didn't get it working up to this point. And so we troubleshooted, troubleshot. The, uh, the problem with that it, it was that it was the console that was actually affecting the, the data, not just displaying it. I'm going to put this code in the network folder. We'll do some lab time yeah, until 9.30, if you didn't quite get it to work. And uh, that'll wrap up month one, part one of the class. Any general questions on things we've talked about today or any time in the course? General questions. All right, well, we'll do individual help and such in just a moment. Let me put my code in there. And we'll do it again on uh, Tuesday with a brand new class. Mm -hmm.